What's up, everybody? You are tuned in to the Late Night Channel Eeps episode 14 now. Wow, 14. Um, so I was thinking about what to talk to you about this time around instead of a random stream of consciousness. But I think I have a good one, so get ready. So I've been fired. In the past, I have been fired at a job and a little i want to tell you about a, a bit about that story about that and the revelation and what i realized uh from this experience so remember that i was um i was winning awards getting more recognized about my flash websites internationally um, you know, submitting my work online, competitions. Like I've always been telling, you know, creatives is like when you want to, you should put your out, work out there, uh, get featured, compete. It doesn't matter if you win or lose, but the fact is that you got your work out there to be seen is the whole purpose behind getting your art out, you know, exposing your art, um, exposing your portfolio to judges, jury, and audiences. And getting familiar and getting comfortable with it anyway so at, at a point that um I, I was pretty much uh, known to be uh pretty skilled in doing flash and doing uh, web development that i was i was a student still back then i was studying at, at carlton university as a student and i was then uh uh headhunted by a design firm to work for them as a summer student. So, of course, I would say yes. I'm like, goodness, like, I know of this company. Um, and, you know, this would also, I would learn a lot from them. But at the same time, Eatmon was also just starting out too, right? I was just starting out with Eatmon and I already had existing clients. I, in fact, I was doing some client work for some major um corporations around the world uh i won't i won't name them but yeah i've already established myself uh working with with pretty big client names so but you know i was a student still and i was a student also right so i didn't think that would be a problem um, but yeah, I, I joined the company for the summer and, you know, it, it was interesting because you know, everyone's like, oh, you know, welcome, welcome. You're so great, blah, blah, blah. You know, you're amazing. And, you know, welcome to the family of our company and, and do some great work. And I did, you know, and I had a great time. I learned a lot. I learned how to do some like development, like, more like, you know, programming and all that. Uh, and, uh, uh, but at the same time, you know, uh, I was also working on my own personal projects, right? And I don't think that, well, it's clear that the company did not like that. Um, they see it as, I guess, what they would call a conflict of interest. Um, but like, I didn't really, I, I didn't get that. I didn't understood that. I, I didn't, I didn't understand why this is, would be, this be an, an issue. It's like a conflict of interest is only if I'm working on, um, I'm taking your clientele, right? These, this is a client that I procured myself, it has nothing to do with them. Um, and uh, I don't know what it was, but I, re I remember now this is, this is, this was this is a fault on my side because at the time I didn't know where to delineate between you know working at the company and also doing my own stuff. Uh, I it is it is quite a lesson to be learned, but it's embarrassing. But I will. But I was a student back then. I was so naive. Like whatever. I was. You know, I thought that everyone got along despite you know what it was. I I I I, I printed uh, my invoice to my client using the company um using the company's printers and somehow 
um, I guess uh, they found out whether there was a log or and they somehow checked it. <laughs> uh, and then the following day, um, I remember I went to the office and there was nobody. There was nobody. It was completely empty. Everyone's gone. Like I, I, early morning, where did everyone go? And I was called to the, uh, the 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 CEO's office, like the principal's office, which is not really an office at all. And literally, uh, they were so mad at me. And then one of the guys said uh, for me to pack my bags and go home. Literally said to pack my bags and go home. And I was shocked. Okay, I mean, okay. I, I should have not used their printer to print that invoice. <laughs> I look back at it. I'm like laughing so hard now. Well, I, I guess I should have done that. Um, but uh, at the same time, you know, I was in shock and I was a student back then and I was in my third year. You know what I mean? Like uh, when I think about it now, it's like, wow, like me well not i didn't think about it now but you no know, a couple of weeks after i got laid off from that from that company uh i kind of saw the ugly truth about corporations about the uh, i learned my i learned at a very young age to realize like wow like like corporate culture is really like so it's so strange to me sometimes like they they all treat you as if you're like the you're, you're all buddy buddy but you know i learned early that you are expendable you're just a number and a cog and at the end of the day it's all about their margins and their investors and um and if they need to cut cut people out to 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 show that their papers are in the green then yeah, let's do it. Now I see that, and I realized that that was a that, that was a big red flag for me, because to just think about it, like our the traditional corporate world was 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 is basically very dated, you know. It it is based on the industrial revolution. Workers go in, they clock in, clock out and um, essentially are there for pretty much their entire careers. But that has changed now, you know, drastically changed. But the problem is, is that a lot of people who secure a job, it don't matter how big of a salary it is or whatnot, um, the, the corporate culture uh, creates this, at least for me, it creates this sort of like, you know, almost a toxic environment. And then there's like this sort of a, like be, being part of a team, uh, 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 working together, but then, you know, you become, you start to become reliant and get comfortable and, and get complacent thinking that, oh, like, you know, I can expect a paycheck, you know, every two weeks, I get health insurance, all that kind of stuff. Um, but I heard so many like, like tragic stories where my peers uh, suddenly got cut off, and then you know they're not used to that. Like does everything, their computers are shut down, everything's off, cold, cold cut, and then they're left to figure out what they're gonna do with their, you know, the next career. You know, it's, it's so abrupt, almost unethical. In my mind, I was like, oh my God, like, I don't want to be, well, quite honestly, I just don't want to be in that sort of toxicity. And to be truthful, you know, uh, when I got fired, it was this big light bulb moment where I was like, wow, I'm a, a student, uh, kind of caused this, like this, this sort of insecurity for them to, to do that. And I'm like, wow, like, you know, if you were, if you were, if you're any brighter or smarter, it was more like, you would be more like embracing and give me like, wow, good job that you, you know, that you able to work on these great things. Like, how can we help? How can we empower you? Instead, they were so insecure. And so like, my God, I, it's just so childish that they, that they let, they, they, they fire me on the spot and treating me like absolute crap. It was a bad experience, but a, but a rude awakening. 
and I'm very thankful I should actually thank them because that's really kind of where I started to really propel Eatmon um, uh, uh, because I, I realized, wow, I'm, I, me single-handedly can measure up with these guys. I was like, okay, thanks for that. Now I know where to go. And now I know where, just like my competition in the flash world when I was got the best Canadian student portfolio because I knew from my past experience, from my past competition, how I measured up. Now I kind of know where how, how I measured up with corporate, you know, agencies. I was like, wow, I should thank them. I'm pretty damn good. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that was that was that was quite an interesting experience. Um, but what's interesting now, and you know, maybe I'm just been getting too many of that YouTube algorithms, but I'm seeing a lot of videos where. Um, you know, Gen Z's and, you know, even like millennials like myself, like we, you know, they are, we are all expendable, you know, and at the end of the day, you know, we were, we were left to our own devices to figure out how to navigate through this very volatile world. I, I guess I for, fortunately learned and, 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 and learned this at an early age and decided that, you know what, I rather not have that paycheck to paycheck and just really strike on my own because I rather, I know it sounds kind of like morbid, but I rather be starving. I rather be like homeless and, and, uh, and, and, or rather be like, you know, just like getting by, um, then, just propping up some in, some individuals uh, who who are going to be like you know in the limelight, and I'm just kind of like a cog in in their system. Like no, I don't want that. And I also want the freedom. I want the freedom to decide where I want to go, where I want to travel, what I want to do. Uh, because he, that, you know, human beings should not be confined. I, I just find that you know, and especially in artists, like art, like we artists are like we got to create, we got to be inspired, we need to travel, we got to take everything in and, and experience and to pigeonhole in a corner and just to turn in like graphics and stuff like that. Like, like that stuff is easy. I could do it in my sleep. I don't need to be in a specific place to, to show that I am contributing to the success of the team. I mean, like, yo, that's like industrial revolution stuff, man. Uh, that's old. It's 2024. Like we're a bit, like get with the times folks because things are changing if you haven't noticed look around if the if, if covid and digital transformation and zoom calls or stuff like that haven't taught you anything then you clearly haven't gotten the picture about the digital age um so yeah but it's just this but the transition from traditional corporate world to an age where um, digital allows mobility um, is really not uh, I feel that it's not going well I don't I feel like you know, there, there, there's there's something um, there's um, it's a clashing between the new and the old uh, so we got to find some sort of middle ground. Hmm. But yeah, that was my that was my experience getting fired. And again, another experience, another whether you call it a success or failure. Uh, but as with anything, we all learn, we all learn from these things. That's how we learn. That's how we grow. That's how we toughen up, grow a thicker skin. As it was said, you know, what doesn't kill me makes me stronger. Uh, and then, you know, you learn something new about yourself, move forward, you know, that was a very interesting time. Very interesting time. I wonder where they are now. I don't know. I wonder if they still hate me. <laughs> but really, it is kind of, it is kind of like premature to, 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 to pull something like that. Um, instead, like the, they were very, like I said, if they were very, you know, level-headed about this, 
uh, instead of like just sort of like cutting me out as if like wow you you betrayed us oh my god oh my eagle oh they should have i think the better approach would have been to embrace that but anywho it's funny how the world works and that's why you know i am who i am uh, I would dare say that had I continued to work in that environment, I mean, again, this is just me, this is me thinking aloud, okay? Everyone's never, I applaud, honestly, I applaud people who work in the corporate world. Like, I really applaud you guys because, like, um, you guys just, I don't know how you guys do it. You guys, it's just not, it's just not my, in my DNA. I don't know, it's not in my world. Um, but you guys do it, and you guys, like, probably much more tougher than I am when it comes to this. Um, but I would dare say that had I continued, I don't know, working in that sort of environment, uh, I would certainly maximize my health insurance like crazy. I, I would probably be like angry, emotionally, like, you know, spontaneously erratic, uh, uh depressed, uh, full of anxiety, full of regret. Like, it's just not me. And I'm being completely transparent with you guys. And I'm not, I'm not sugarcoating anything. Like I would really, I probably be utilizing all the benefits I can just so that I can like, you know, survive another day or two. It's just, it's just not in my cards. I have a philosophy. My philosophy now is like, I could work with you, but I cannot work. Like I could work with them or I cannot, but I cannot work in them in a way, you know what I mean? It's not like, it's like I could collaborate and be partners in crime to to do things, but if you ask me to be in there, uh, that creates a sense for me, a, a, a confinement. I don't know why, it just creates a sort of uh, illusion of confinement. And uh, um, and as a, as a creator, I, I cannot have that feeling of, of, of uh, being pigeonholed. I don't think any artist wants to be in that way either, right? That's why we're that's why we're crazy. That's why we are where we are. We're like, whoa, you know, like I want to go anywhere else, do crazy stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm probably yeah. Anyway, anyway. Again, random stream of conscious uh, consciousness coming out. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you know, but I tell you, like this trajectory as an artist or a creative entrepreneur entrepreneur is not easy either. Okay, don't get me wrong. It's not like a walk in a park or anything. It's like, it's, it's pretty tough. Um, and it takes a type of personality, character, behavior to navigate the nuances and the, the uh, ebbs and flows of this crazy world we live in. You have to be very intuitive, be very aware. And it's not that you have to do it. You want to do it. You breathe it. Now, I'm good at that. So perhaps the other side would tell me, Ima, I don't know how you do it, man. That's, that's crazy. Like, you know, I, I applaud you for doing that. And I applaud you guys for doing that, for doing what you do. So, you know, to each their own. We have our own skill sets. We have our own abilities. And at the end of the day, we have to choose what works for us, what, uh, what, uh, what aligns with our interests, our passions, our strengths. Um, Otherwise, we'll be fooling ourselves. Yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy. But I am who I am. And I would say that I'm probably living quite a volatile world. But hey, it fits in line with this volatile, volatile world. Increasingly, I observed, increased craziness. But yeah, um, but yeah, that was an interesting story. I thought I'd share that, and uh, I hope that you uh, gain something out of this or get some insight about why I do what, what I do and why it is I do what I do. But I don't know. Does that make sense? I'm just, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I hope you have a great day, a great evening, a great afternoon, wherever you are. This is the late night channel Eeps. Eatmon signing off until next time. I, I didn't wear a cap today because I just thought that, you know, but whatever. But yeah, I'll wear my cap tomorrow. Bye.